As a king, I do feel like I need to work a little bit harder um, to make sure that I'm making a good name for kings because actually it's surprising the amount of people who still don't know about kings or had never seen a drag king perform. I've always been a big fan of drag and um, always appreciated the self-expression. That was always a big draw for me. And once I saw the that there were drag kings, then I saw where I fit in in the community and saw my chance to express myself. For me, drag was just a great platform to utilize all of my skills and abilities. Such a full circle moment for me uh, to be co-hosting Lip Sync Now. That's actually where I got my start and where I felt welcomed. And when I did my number, everyone was just so shocked and blown away and like, wow, I can't believe you've never done drag before. And I was so afraid that people were not going to like it or that people were gonna laugh at me. And so to have just the complete opposite reaction of your like worst fears was like so validating for me. And once I had that, I was like, I need to chase this. I need more, I need more, I love this. I actually feel so fortunate to do drag, uh, specifically in Eugene, because it is such a welcoming community. Um, they are accepting of all types of drag. That was actually something that I was really nervous about when I first started is, um, I know kings are a thing, but is that something that's accepted here? Because I had you know, seen that some queens didn't want to include kings in their show, didn't think that kings had a place in the drag community. And so when I found out that not only was that celebrated here, but it was just welcomed with, with open arms, that was, um, that was huge for me. I would say in general as a king that I feel a, a need to do more uh, to be seen and recognized because even though it is very uh, accepting and welcoming, I do think that um, just not enough people know about kings. Getting to work with all these incredible kings who put so much passion and care into it and unfortunately are not given the respect and space that they deserve is incredible to be able to give them at least some kind of space. It's something that's very important to me because I see a lot of people not get those opportunities just because basically the people think the audience only wants to see drag queens, which is not true. I've seen more kings get a better round of applause than some of those amazing queens I know. I know a lot of kings who, no matter how big their audience is, still feel that weight of being discriminated against by the larger queer community. And it's really unfortunate because some of my favorite performers are drag kings or more masculine drag things who have inspired me to start drag. And I love seeing new people pop up because it inspires me to keep going. Um, the first time I saw Drag Kings, it was really not until I started performing here at Spectrum. Because like before I was just consuming drag online and so much of it is saturated by like queens. And after like kind of discovering like, oh my God, Drag Kings are a thing too. I'm like, this is really cool. And it's, I just, I love the additional representation. I think Drag Kings are always like, they're so above and beyond with every single, I have never been disappointed with any drag king that I've ever seen. So much of my drag career was me finding myself and who I really am and then carrying that persona over into real life. And so if that was my experience, then there's the potential for even just one person to have that same experience. And so if I can help just that one person have that experience too, then I just feel I will have a life well lived.